Good morning, church. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. Regardless of what is happening outside, it is a beautiful day because today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Um, a few announcements. We are still looking for pictures of um, college graduates, high school graduates, whatever you have graduated this year, we are looking to, uh, to do a um, slideshow next week on our, uh, at our worship, and we are looking for, for these pictures, and we would like maybe a little bio about where you graduated from and where you are uh, planning to go. And so if we could have those sent this week to David, that would be fantastic. We would uh, we really appreciate it. This is a way that we can honor these graduates in this, uh, this crazy time that we are in. Um, I do have two other announcements. This past, I think it was two weeks ago, the confirmation class finished. And when we get back into uh, worship, regardless of when that is, we have six youth that are going to be confirmed in the uh, in the church and it is just such a a joy and a blessing and thank you to those six youth and thank you to uh, miss vanessa who uh, stepped in and helped and as we we started in the classroom and, and we were learning and obviously just like everybody we had to switch to uh, an online platform and um I, i'm i'm amazed at what the youth were able to to remember and to learn in such a setting so this is very encouraging and so along with that our youth group hasn't stopped meeting either we we do once a week we get online we share joys and concerns and um we play games online and it is a, a lot of fun time and usually these meetings last about two to three hours and it is such a joy that that we are having i'd say probably half to three quarter of the youth group participating so it is a fantastic time. You know, the Holy Spirit is still working. Even though the building is closed down, the, the, the church is still open and the church is still doing wonderful, wonderful things. Um, June 1st, on uh, Monday, I guess that would be tomorrow, um, we are doing another, uh, another round of bags for our bread and fishes and feed my sheep um, uh, program. And so just like every other Monday, we will, we will have cars lined up and we will be given bags right into the uh the parking lot and they pull up they pop their trunk we say hi we welcome them and and talk with them a little bit and uh, then then we load their bags and um then they drive on and you know i don't know this week but uh last week we were able to give out a ton and a ton of food so we are joyful like of that and like i said the even though the church is closed the building is closed the church is still open and we are doing wonderful things and, and that is all thanks to you and thanks to god so we are we are blessed um, with that let's go to god in prayer come holy spirit come and set our hearts afire with your love and compassion and power we are grateful for your invitation to worship we thank you for the the opportunities that, that that you have given us we thank you for the opportunity to adore you and to to hear your word and to receive it within our hearts wonderful god this morning we we want to come before you in a way pleasing to you and good for us so we sincerely and we humbly ask that you continue to be here with us, to guide us. We ask that you cleanse our speaking and our listening, and that you open our hearts and open our minds to your word. We ask that you awaken, and we ask that you strengthen our willingness to acknowledge you as the master of our lives, and for you in all of these situations and circumstances. Oh God, breathe into us the, the fresh breath of your spirit. Let us be so filled with your presence that we live today and every day after here with the, the greater grace, with a deeper love, and a renewed sense of joy. Come, Holy Spirit. Come and set our hearts afire with your love and compassion and power. And on this day, we celebrate the birth of your church. We pray that you will give each of us and the people of the world your peace. We ask for prayers for all of the people in our neighborhoods, all of our partners and ministries, 
and those who have who have not have the goods of of being of being in such comfort and joy. We pray for our president. We pray for our government officials and our leaders. Help them to to see your will and to to guide them into smart decisions. We pray for the students that are trying to wrap up the end of this crazy school year. And likewise, we pray for the parents and the teachers who are trying to teach amongst this crazy school year. Father God, we pray that you will help us to be engaged with one another and with our, within our community so that we can make a difference. Come, Holy Spirit. Come and set our hearts afire with your love and compassion and power. Give us courage to hold the, the value of your kingdom in the midst of the choices that we make for ourselves and for your church. Thank you for the privilege of coming to you this morning, albeit virtually. We know that you have not abandoned us. Use us to let your light shine where there is darkness. Use us to let there be peace where there is now strife. Use us to let there be courage and confidence where there is now sorrow and angst. Hear our prayer, Lord, not because we deserve your mercy, but because of Jesus, through whom you have claimed us to be your children and have redeemed us for your work into this world. Come, Holy Spirit, come and set our hearts afire with your love and your compassion and power. And we pray this prayer in the name of your precious Son, Jesus, who taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. 